I'll be showing eight new features in Teams. This includes Teams desktop, web, and education. So let's get started. The first new feature is the ability to adjust lighting automatically in your meeting. So I'm gonna click Meet Now to start a meeting. Hey, it's a little bit dark in here. Let's, let's make the lighting better. I'm lazy, I don't wanna get up and actually turn on the light, so I'll open Device Settings. I'm gonna go over here on the lower right and there's a new Adjust Brightness. Click that. Ooh, it looks a little bit lighter now, even though I didn't do anything. Turn it off, a little bit darker. So, adjust your brightness for a call and click Join Now. The second new feature is the ability to share your audio in a web Teams meeting. So I'm gonna be showing this amazing new YouTube video about this guy talking about new Excel functions. We'll go back to Teams. I'm gonna hit the share tray here, go down and choose desktop or window, and now just choose share system audio. And I'm gonna do that, select the window I want, and click share. Go to my YouTube channel, now when I play this, I'll be showing 10 new oh, time-saving functions. Just, that sounds so beautiful. Everyone on the meeting will be able to hear it. The third new feature is the ability to share any window in Windows 11 directly into a Teams meeting. So I'm gonna open up Teams here and I'm gonna join a meeting. Click join. Now I'm here in this Teams meeting and I have a PowerPoint presentation, my next generation TPS report. I wanna share this window directly into the Teams meeting. All I do is hover over the open window, and if you're in a Teams meeting, you're gonna see the Share This Window button. Click this, and now choose Share. And I'll start my presentation here, and I'm gonna switch over to Alex, who's an attendee of this meeting, to show what it looks like on his side. Here's Alex, and you can see that the Next Generation TPS report is directly shared. Now, if I wanna share my OneNote window right here, I just go hover on OneNote, I choose Share This Window, and then I choose Share, and now the OneNote window is directly shared into that Teams meeting. This works for any window that you have in Windows 11. I could share my Explorer, I could share Camtasia, anything that you wanna share in Windows 11. If you're in a Teams meeting, share this window will pop up just like this. The fourth new feature is another Teams integration directly with Windows 11. I'm here in my Teams meeting and in the upper right, you can see that my microphone is open and I'm able to talk during a meeting. The new update is there's a big fat blue microphone here that is also showing for Teams. So I can just click this and it will mute my microphone up there. So maybe Teams was minimized or I'm doing something else and I just wanna quickly mute and unmute. Now I can use it right here, really fast, just like that. The fifth new feature is LinkedIn integration directly into Teams chats. I'm here in a chat with my pal Jerry Gillespie and you're gonna see this new LinkedIn tab right next to activity. I'm gonna click here on LinkedIn. It automatically pulls up Jerry's LinkedIn profile. And what I'm gonna do is sign in to connect. So I'm gonna sign into my LinkedIn account. I'll click right here. Okay, I'll choose continue to LinkedIn. And then just sign in. Okay, I'm gonna connect my account, hit accept. Now if I wanna scroll down, I can say see full profile on LinkedIn and it'll launch LinkedIn. And there's Jerry's full profile. And since I signed in, that means other people can now pull up my profile directly inside of chat in Teams. Now this is working inside of my company, which is Microsoft. So now my LinkedIn profile is available for anyone inside of Microsoft who wants to see my profile. The sixth new feature is a small but useful one. In Teams meetings, you will now see these little labels right underneath those icons. So you no longer have to guess what the icons mean. Even over here on the way left, there's a nice little view label. The seventh new feature is a Teams for Education update, which is Reflect check-ins now work in the class notebooks that are created in Teams. Reflect is a well-being app that we have that lets educators very quickly and easily check in with their students and reflect, whether it's learning or social emotional state. So what we have now is the ability in a class notebook for the educator to add that check-in. I'm signed in as the educator in language arts and I'm gonna go into my class notebook. And we'll maximize this, open up the navigation pane and let's go into the content library. And I'll go here. Now here's a page that I wanna to distribute to my class. I will click on the class notebook tab here and first I'm gonna open up reflect. Now here are the different options I have. What would you like the students to reflect on? Their confidence to succeed, their motivation to learn, understanding of the content, etc. So I'll click on understanding of the content and I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of the page and I'm just gonna click where I want this check-in to go. So we'll go right here. Now I'm gonna choose add check-in to page. Click that. This adds that reflect check-in. So how well do you understand what is a claim? And students can respond with a smiley face or a middle face or a frowny face. 
or none at all. Just a note, currently this only works in the web version of Teams and the web version of OneNote, as well as on the student side. We're working to add it to other places like iPad, PC, Mac, etc. in the future. Now what I'll do is I will close the Reflect check-in pane, and I'm going to distribute this page to my students. So I'll click Distribute Page, choose this, and now I'm gonna distribute the page and we'll put this into class notes. And I will click Distribute. Okay, it's all done. Now we'll switch over to Alex the student who got this page and we'll show how the Reflect check-in works. I'm signed in as Ella and I'll go to my class notebook. I'll open it up here and I'm gonna open up my notebook as Ella and go to class notes. Here's the new page, what is a claim? Here's the page my teacher distributed, so we'll scroll to the bottom. And there is that check-in. So how well do you understand what is a claim? So I'll say, I understand that pretty good, I get it. Could change this, maybe I'm like, hmm, I don't get it yet. And then I can submit. Also notice it says, who can see it? If I hover, only the teacher can see this reflection. Great, and that's from Kara Coleman, she's the teacher. So we'll submit. Okay, it's submitted. So you can also even change your response. So if I decide, you know what, actually maybe, maybe I get it somewhat, I can go back here and hit submit. So you can change your response as well. Now let's sign back in to Kara, the teacher. I'm signed back in as Kara Coleman, the teacher, and now I'm gonna to go to Insights. Every class in Teams has Insights, and what I can do is look at all the different check-ins I've done. So under Class Overview, I can go over to Reflect right here and drill in. Now I can see all the different reflections that have happened in my class. I can scroll down, I can see it by date. I can hover here and see the number of students that we're answering, and I can see different words that were chosen and different questions, the student list. So there's an entire reflect area where you can check out all the different questions that you've captured across your class. The eighth new feature is parent connection in Teams for Education. I'm here in Teams signed in as the educator. And what I'm gonna do is go to this brand new parents link right here that shows up in the top left of the class team. Now one note, my IT administrator has already set up parents. The way that the parent emails come into Teams is through school data sync and we're able to pull in all the parents and map them to the students. There's a link on the screen that you can share with your IT administrator and show exactly how this gets set up I also have a link in the description. So we're gonna assume this has already been set up with all of the parent emails. Now as the educator, I'm gonna click right here on parents. Now what you see is all the list of my students on the left, but right here you have the parent and guardian names. So I can see the names of you know Ashley, the parents are River and Justice, and over on the right is the ability to start a chat. So in this case, I'm gonna scroll down and I wanna start a chat with Omar's parents, Riley and Salem. I'm gonna go click on the chat here, and this pops up a new chat message. And it says, some people in this chat are outside your org because I'm in the school system and Omar's parents have consumer IDs or they're in other systems, not in this school system. And it tells me right here where it's gonna send an email to. So I'll paste in my message here. And also note it says external. And what I'm gonna do is hit the little send button. Now this is sent out that chat message. Now the parents of Omar might not have ever used Teams. And so what happens is we send an email message to the parents that gives them a link so they can sign up and start using Teams to chat back and forth. Now what I'm gonna do is switch over to a different parent. We're gonna assume that I sent off this message. Now we're gonna go talk to Adele's parents and Charlie Vance. He has an Outlook account, but this also works with Gmail or any other type of email. I'm gonna go in and sign in as Charlie and show what it looks like to receive an invite to Teams. Here's an example where I sent a message to Charlie and that is Adele's dad. Now Charlie here gets a message that says, hey, Arden Asher, that's the teacher from social studies, is trying to reach you in Teams. Charlie can click on go to Teams and it's gonna prompt him to make sure that he has the right account to sign in. So I'm using outlook.com here but you could be using Gmail or you could be using Yahoo Mail or any other type of mail. But Teams will prompt you to make sure that you have a Microsoft account behind the scenes to be able to sign in. And I'm not gonna show that entire process here, but when you go to Teams, Charlie will have to make sure that he has a linked Microsoft account behind the scenes. What I'm gonna do next is sign in with a different parent and show what it looks like if you already had a Teams account, just signing in and responding to that message from a teacher.
I'm signed in as Bellamy Vance. This is the mother of Adele and I already have my Teams for life. This is the consumer version of Teams in the web and it's free. I have a message here and it says Adele Vance. That's my daughter and this is the class. So if I click on this, here's a chat from Arden Asher. That's the teacher. And he's saying, hey, I'd love to grab time to talk about Adele. So as a parent here, I can just type back. I've typed my message just like I would in a chat in Teams and I will send this back. So Bellamy, the parent, just sent a message back to Arden, the teacher. So let's switch back to Arden in the social studies class and see how this shows up for him. I'm signed in here as Arden, the teacher in social studies, and it looks like there's a new chat. So I'll click here. And there's that chat. This is from Adele Vance. It's actually Bellamy, the parent, but this is the name of the chat is the student and then the class name. And it looks like, okay, sounds good. See you then. This makes it really easy to have chat conversations back and forth with parents. Going back into the team and clicking on parents again, I can go over here and chat with any of these parents and just by clicking here, I'll start that chat. And if they haven't ever had a chat, this will invite them to Teams and they'll be able to get themselves set up and have a chat with the educator. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.